What's up? So I'm here backstage. Hi! <laughs> backstage in the Bryn Studios over here in Sydney, um, filming the Course Creators show on Bryn, um, the world's smartest uh, artificially intelligent business advisor. So backstage here, um, the guys have been listening to me yabbering on all morning so far, um, dropping some serious tips about how you can create an online course of your own. So uh, here's the set up here. Uh, this is where I've been uh, presenting this morning. You see the, the awesome Course Creators branding over here. Um, it's, up, it's backwards because we're live right now on a live stream. Um, so yeah, this is, this is my stage and uh, this is the view that I see when, um, when I'm up on, the, uh, up on the stage doing my presenting here. There's uh, three big cameras that have flashy lights that, <laughs> that I have to follow, uh, follow around the room as I'm presenting. Um, and uh, let's talk about some of the stuff we've been covering today on Course Creators. So um, the first episode is called The Nine Stages of Building a Wildly Successful Online Course. So that particular episode, I'm going to put this here because it's... I'm uh, jittering all over the place. The, the first episode it goes over a bird's eye view, a massive overview of all of the different stages that you need to consider as an online course creator. What are all of the different major milestones that you need to think about and prepare for so that you have a wildly successful online course. Episode number two, which we have now filmed, where hey, is called The Seven Biggest Mistakes That Online Course Creators Make. Because <laughs> those of us that have been there, done it, worn the pants and got the uh, t-shirts, have made lots of mistakes and I'm certainly um, not immune to those myself. I've been there, I've made them. So in that particular episode I talk about the seven biggest ones that you can make when you're creating a course so that you don't make them when you're creating yours. Uh, what else have we got? Episode number three which we have now filmed which is awesome. Uh, is how to find your market and ensure that your course has high market demand. You want to be making sure that when you build a course, you put love, love, blood, sweat and tears into it, that people are actually going to buy that. There is so much work and effort that goes into creating a course. And I know lots of my edupreneur friends are going, yep, uh-huh, I know. <laughs> so you don't want to go through all of that and then get little Tweety Bird tumbleweeds because that's devastating. So in that particular episode, I go through all all of the things that you can do, practical tools to check that your course has market demand. Um, and then episode four, uh, which we are just about to start filming. Um, I'm just having a little break right now. Episode four is all about how to plan out your course for maximum engagement. This is making sure that we're going to look at some of the principles here of curriculum design and teaching to make sure that your audience are just sat on the edge of their seats the whole way through your course. You want people to be absolutely loving your content. You want your content to be delivered in a way that they just go, wow, not only was the content itself great, it was also delivered in a fun way. It was an experience that I actually enjoyed. So I'm going to be dropping a bunch of tips in that episode number four. Episode number five, we're going to be talking about how to quickly build your course and prepare for launch. There's a lot to do when it comes to putting a course together. So I'm going to go through some of the fastest techniques that you can use to bring all of that content together in place and find get your course out there and uh, episode number six is then about the bit that everyone wants to know how do I make money from my online course it's all about how to market your course for maximum sales so that course is going to take you through some of the best strategies that you can use to make sure that that course starts earning you money the second you press the publish button so to make sure that that brings you in that residual passive income that you've been looking for that it deserves because of the amount of effort you've put in so that's an overview of some of the stuff you're going to get on the Course Creators TV show hosted by yours truly on Brin. So make sure you've grabbed the Brin app. It's completely free, guys. This is ridiculous. Um, I'm actually going to be giving away some of the content that I normally charge thousands of dollars for completely free of charge on Brin. And you guys can all get that free, completely free, via an app on your phone. So all you've got to do is download Brin, B-R-I-N, and uh, already there's absolutely tons of incredible content of there um, from some of the the world's best advisors. So I highly recommend you do that. Um, I don't know the exact launch date for course creators yet, um, but they um, have told me that it could possibly be out as soon as the end of this month. Oh yeah! <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm going to give you guys lots more behind the scenes here in the studio. Woo! There's camera guys there who are hiding in the darkness. Um, but until then, I've got more filming to do. So see you guys later. Bye!